In climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, you probably heard the expression, the climate has always changed. That is true, although not nearly as fast as it is right now. 20,000 years ago, the blink of a geological eye, ice blanketed the northern hemisphere with glaciers from the North Pole all the way to New York City. During the Ice Age, sea levels were 400 feet lower than they are today. Since then, temperatures have gradually warmed, and so the Earth has gradually thawed. And for the past 10,000 years, temperatures have been reliably mild and steady, allowing our modern civilization to thrive. But for much of Earth's history, the climate has been very turbulent, with cycles of cold glacial periods and warm interglacials. So what causes these natural fluctuations? A big part is driven by changes in the amount of sunlight reaching the Earth. Over the course of tens of thousands of years, both the Earth's tilt and its orbital shape around the sun, called eccentricity, change. Earth's tilt varies by about two and a half degrees over the course of 40,000 years, and Earth's orbit varies from a circle to an ellipse over the course of 100,000 years. Combined, those effects can modulate the amount of sunlight being absorbed by the planet by up to 25%. As a result of these changes in heat, every 100,000 years, Earth cycles in and out of glacial cycles, ice ages. You may find this surprising. The difference between an ice age and a warm period is not very much. You can see the scale right there. Earth's average temperature 20,000 years ago was 46 degrees, and today it's 57 degrees, a difference of just 11 degrees. But the warming over the past century is anything but normal. While the sun's heat has decreased, our temperatures have been rising at a pace 10 times faster than when the last ice age ended. You can see it at the end of the uh, screen right there. Today's warming is not driven by the sun. It's driven by carbon pollution from the burning of fossil fuels. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com.